Hi, Tech Crow here. Time for some accessorizing. So, um, those who've been following the channel and uh, followed the video about acquiring the logic analyzer, then um, I showed that it comes with the, um, the required flat cables. So, there's five of these, one for each of the four channels, and then it came with a set of um, probes. So this is what they look like. So this one plugs into into here, and then up the probe cable. And these can individually be uh, removed, so you don't have to have all of them connected at the same time. And um, you know, one of my problems was that the um, uh, we could start with uh, markings in in some of the pods. The, there were no markers as to what signal. This is, and then it has the actual main um, numbering for the um, data signals. But um, yeah, as I said, not not duplicated. And then um, they are missing some of these, so they I, I didn't get. Practically speaking, I got one broken ground lead because there's a ground connector and a clock connector, and I didn't get. Um, enough of these probe leads to actually populate all the, um, the clock signals. Um, and then some of the probes weren't in that brilliant shape, so uh, that's, that's the end that goes into here. It's kind of like, yeah, not in good shape. And then um, here you see that the actual, because this is like the ground connector, and then um, this is the actual probe. And then it's missing its end, but it should be like like this, but not quite a few of them were like that. So I mean this can be fixed, but uh, yeah. Still a bit annoying. So so now I have actually succeeded in acquiring and not exactly a cheap acquisition in itself, but um, I have acquired um, new old stock for four um, pod channels, the cables. So, here we and this is actually a nicer set because here you have actually um, color um, encoding for the, um, uh, the what signal it is, and then you know, of course these there's no broken ends, and then these are all all clearly marked, and then also you have um, the probe for the clock. And then you have the grounding lead for the actual pod, so that's that's what it is. So I, I got, I won't show all of them; they're exactly the same. So it's it's four of those, and um, then also acquired um, grounding leads. And it seems like HP, even originally, you didn't get like this is 16 signals. You didn't get 16 ground leads. You only got a package per pod that contained one, two, three, four. Now that's five. So you got even even in the original delivery from HP you only got five. So but anyway these are <coughs> so you can insert into a selected signal probe lead and plug it in there and then you have this is like the, the grounding part. So, I've got a set of five for each of the pods. So that's nice. And then, the next missing component it's grabbers. So, let's see what we get. Let's see if I can get into this package now. Take out a few. These are grabbers. So the, basically, the idea is that you have a sort of hook that you can hook onto pins and other and circuits, and then you actually plug it's oh, a side plug in. Okay, so <laughs> mystery solved. You, you don't put it directly in it. Was at an angle, I forgot that. But anyway, here you are. So you've got 
drivers that you can um, yeah, connect to individual signals as needed. And I must say these are not super easy to get into place. Well, that's how they work anyway. And um, yeah, and then I got a bag for four channels. So you eat for each pod channel. I got a bag full. Um, and then also, this is a. Th I'm going to show. This is not relevant to my to my uh, to the logic analyzer in question that I have. But um, when you buy these kits um, used online or new stock, new old stock, then you usually get these kind of weird floppy cable as oh floppy um, uh, what do you call this? circuit um, connectors and um, these are circuit board interconnects and I think it actually what happens is that this kit here can be delivered with a with uh, one of the HP because HP has lots of models of logic analyzers going over history though absolutely unbelievable number but some of them have um, plug-in cards so what you have is you have a quite a large logic analyzer with a quite a big screen and then it's basically it's an empty box and then you you plug in the functionality you want to have and then some of the um, th those uh, circuit boards require these um, so-called um, circuit board interconnects so I think that this kit might have come out of um, yeah, spare parts set or 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 an accessory set for such a board. And, and since, of course, my model of logic analyzer isn't based on swapping out boards, it's it's a fixed unit. Then then these are. But I just thought I'd explain it because the <laughs> very often when they're selling these these kits, you you get a package of these, and then it's like you know, I was like wondering like what is this for? <laughs> but it's not. It's only related to those logic analyzers that actually have logic analysis as a card and then you plug it into the unit to get the function out and um also nice on top of all the you know, the full force kit then um i got this bag it's, it's basically just um extra um yeah these pod uh, signal <laughs> cables and then some extra stickers so that if one wants to um Actually, um, I suppose is that if if it's to repair, like if one of these breaks, then 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 you also in the original HP set you get a set of spares, so that you can actually and the sticker set so that you can actually label them correctly. So so if if this one breaks, then you can replace it, and you can also have the sticker available to actually mark it correctly, which is kind of cool. So um, yeah, accessorizing. So that was the extent of this video. It might help you also if you're looking online for you know, this product, you have a similar kind of issue that I have, then you, you kind of know what you should be looking for when you look at those packages that have been sold online. And um, not exactly sure why this kit was a, was a package of four. Uh, I am assuming there are of course logic analyzers that um, from HP that only have four pods. So it, it could be that case that this is from a from that kind of a kit, uh, uh, and, and specifically the Logic Analyzer card version. So they have a Logic Analyzer card for a specific HP Logic Analyzer, and then it has four four pots and not five. But I, I, I'm perfectly okay with only having four. I mean, now now I have the whole set of you know five pods. I have the remaining ones that I actually got with the purchase, so I can use those to populate the last one if I, if I ever run such analysis where I need to have all the. Four. But anyway, now that I've I hope you found this interesting and useful and uh, see you in the next one.